And a lot of the reason that those productions sound great is simply because of Scott Burns. I mean, mm. there's, you know, Morris Sound Studios really, that was the, that was the pinnacle of the Florida death metal scene back in those days. And, you know, they have done everybody. They did Nocturnus, Obituary, Us, you know, um, Morbid Angel was in there, uh, just a, a atheist, a slew of fucking uh, cynic, you know, all these great bands. And for us to actually be kids and go down there and like, you know, learn something, because that's really what we were. We were kids. We didn't have any any real serious music experience in recording studios and stuff. You guys were effectively starting to tour prior to even leaving high school back then. Is, is yeah, I mean, we... Right? That well, we started to tour. I mean, we did have a tour early on, but we didn't tour enough, I don't think, to really make the impact that we should have, I guess, you know, in hindsight. But um, yeah, I mean, right out of school, once we had gotten signed and we had the opportunity to do some touring and do shows out of state and stuff like that. And that's when it like really started for us, you know, like starting to like really do touring because it started little nitpick shows here and there one from new york to new jersey and then from new jersey to like pennsylvania and up to connecticut and then out and further across the country and then from there the albums came out and when those albums came out that's when the offer for tour started yeah. and we did take some so right out of high school yeah i went on tour so if you're happy to with me when i get the chance to, to speak to you guys that i've listened to for years what i'm really interested in kind of telling the story historically of you know heavy metal and how you guys kind of fit into that picture because you know as you said it's sort of like uh you know there's traditional heavy metal where we would have talked about like bands like priest and maiden then punk rolls around the corner which effectively introduces thrash then we start getting um you know variants of this sort of music where as you said we start getting celtic frost possessed yeah. bathory these sorts of things. heavier and heavier and heavier and know? then you guys come out of this this next one and sort of you know you've already talked about morbid angel i start thinking of even though we would talk about them as a thrash band i i think sepultura slots very comfortably oh, sort of in, in, into totally that sort right of in the, right into that area creator yes Sepultura, exactly creator, destruction um you know obviously merciful fate king diamond those bands they fucking just you know smeared the world you know what mm. i mean they just they took over but you know there's sodom bands like that they yeah. those bands early like early on you're right i mean you nailed it right on the nose coming from like let's say like early rock and roll into where things became punk rock thrash you know hardcore so on and so forth and started going more aggressive you know what i mean yes we were right there so you know at that point in time those were like those were those bands, Celtic Frost, um, early obituary, like slowly rot. When I first heard that, I was like, holy shit. You know, um, we, were, we were crazy kids. We were crazy kids. And the local college station here, um, you know, because my family had worked at this college and I had gone to the college and worked there and stuff. We knew that some of the people at the radio station, and that's like how I got introduced to Sepultura, yeah. you know. I mean, they were playing Slayer and Messiah and fucking Cryptic Slaughter and shit like that. But then, then and King Diamond, you know, but then when that whole schizophrenia record hit, like for real, hit this college stations here, it fucking blew us to pieces, man. We yeah. were like, whoa, you know, wig blown back. I mean, as you can tell, and it <laughs> stayed that way, it stayed that way. <laughs> I've got that. I'm so glad you mentioned Cryptic Slaughter as well, because yeah. I, I I bought those. So again, 20 years ago, if, if you're relapse, reissued those as well. And I bought those yeah. and there's no one else that I know that listens to that because um, it, it's, it's, it's an interesting place where I'd like to take the conversation with you because I said a lot of people that I know who listen to heavy metal, first of all, in the group and the people that I know, and I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, they, they knew Metallica. They might know a little bit about Megadeth. They may or may not have listened to Anthrax. They, they stayed very, exactly. very mainstream. Then yep. the people that were into like punk music weren't into hardcore. So the people I know that listened to Sex Pistols were not listening yeah. to DRI or Cryptic Slaughter yeah. and these sorts of bands. And so first of all, I think Cryptic Slaughter is, is fantastic because I think they're kind of like the precursors I mean, they, to Napalm Death. They, and, really, and they really were like one of the precursor like grind bands, if mm. you know what I mean. You know, it's the same thing. With well, like, that's where Suffolk comes. Not, that 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 yeah. literally snare. Yeah. And that, I mean, that was that, the first that one I've seen thing. that integrated into music, like as 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 a fundamental part of your sound, effectively. Yeah, I mean, we we really 
just when we heard something new and listened to it or like I mean, even 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 back in the day, like Mike Smith, you know, who invented like the blast beat or whatever. Yep. Even him, you know, when I was jamming with him, it, he would turn around and be like, you know, listen to that and listen to like Wehrmacht and Cryptic Slaughter. And, you know, of course we liked Anthrax and SMD, all those old nuclear assault, you name it, you know, all that stuff. And for him to start doing that bah, 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 beat, to me really did remind me of like, like, cryptic slaughter or something and i find that they're like those progenitors to to the things that we ended up doing you know yes. what i mean which is really really cool i'm glad that you recognize those bands too like 